All right, so let's take care of our base alignment on this workpiece after, uh, again, we have our fixture uh, and part position properly from the previous video in this series. So uh, provided will be a stylus system. You'll import the SSC file provided. It is a standard star probe. Uh, make sure that you import it and that you, uh, I did this in the previous module, that you go to your uh, style system manager the geometry make sure the x y and z geometry is all accurate to the pdf provided just like you would for a z down except for now you have to worry about the x and y instead of the z uh this stylus uh, system start this star probe does not have a number one or a z down stylus on it we're running a duramax machine so uh, all it has is uh stylus is number uh, two through five so uh, again after you do that make sure you qualify in simulation or qualify in real time depending on where you're located then after that, we are ready to start taking points. Um, so let's uh, do our base alignment. So again, define select geometry. I'm going to take care of this plane, which we're going to need. And then I'm also going to do a define line on a plane and take care of a couple lines here. Uh, the surfaces around this workpiece um, are going to be a, they're, they're tolerance, but using profile of a surface. So I'm going to end up measuring those uh, using freeform. So to this point, this is not critical right here. Uh, this is just for our you know, rough base alignment to tell the machine where the part is. So, uh, the strategy for line one and line two will update shortly, but there is no default strategy uh, in plane one. I don't have my default strategies on, so we'll, let's take care of that. So, uh, we could use some of these options here, uh, but one thing I'll do, uh, I do want to manually take hits around the outside of this. So, let's take a hit here, here, here that here here and then we'll go over to here right around there and then we have a couple options uh, if you count your points correctly you could use the arc function in polyline or what I usually do is I'll just space them out to a, again what we're doing is we're gonna be playing connect the dot here shortly so I find this to be really not a big deal to just do it this way on around any arcs okay we might have to move that one so that could be actually that would probably be okay we'll go around here and then once we get to the straight area we'll go to here here and then we'll go you know one two three around that one here back to here now uh, right now it'll take all these probing points we need to turn into a polyline so select the bottom, hold shift, select the top, and then uh, this icon here is single points auto path switch, convert that to a polyline. Everything looks good except for right here. So using these two number cursors here, let's move the points around and get these three and select arc. And you'll see that now it arcs around, okay? And again, you gotta have three points to do that. So around here can be kind of tricky sometimes. Um, if you do one point here, I don't know. I think it's easier to walk it around. That's me, uh, that's up to you. Uh, again, number of points is not critical as far as clicking. You could always update that later. So that's okay for that polyline. Let's take care of some other options here. We'll do a quick scan of the center. And somewhere here. We'll make that a polyline. That's fine for us. And then we can take care of this one over here. So we need to have at least six points. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Turn that into a polyline. And you see we'll have issues. So between these three points, we'll arc. And then if we go up in our list between these three points, we'll arc. We might be able to even go to these three here. Let's see if we that already is arc. Let's see if the previous one is. We'll arc that one. If it doesn't let you, we're gonna live with it. And again, that's been my experience with this. I never really use this tool a ton as far as arcing them. Um, a lot of times my go-to is multiple polyline. Uh, but for right now, this is fine. I'd rather have see people get some, you know, get used to clicking and turning polylines into, you know, turning points into polylines, guiding the polylines around using some of these tools down here. That's fine. Um, 
the other thing I want you to realize is now I have three polylines, three strategies, or three toolpaths in a strategy for one plane. Something that could be new. Some people think you only need one toolpath per strategy. That is not the case. So we'll hit OK here. And we'll rename this plane Data Bay. Hit OK. And now these lines aren't going to be used for anything besides base alignment. So in the strategy, in the auto path, I'm going to turn number of points to two and turn single points on. And leave it like that. And then just hit OK. And again, you could, we could use some of these cursors to go to line two and different icons, but I try to do it clicking around a lot in a video. That way you can see what's going on. Uh, again, we'll go to single points, number of points to two, and that's fine for us. And now our alignment is taken care of, so I will form a group here and rename the group base alignment. All right, and then let's take care of, for some reason, we got going on here. We'll create a new alignment, all right? And then let's take care of our rotation space as data may our planar rotation as line one, our X origin is going to be line two, our Y origin is going to be data A, and our Z origin is going to be um, line one. Okay, and then that's where our new alignment is going to be, and we'll hit OK. So that's right. All right, now again, um, it's up to you if you want to do the alignment in this window. Uh, sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't, it depends. Either way, create features first, put into the alignment, or do it all in the one window, it's up to you. So that's good there. Let's take care of our clearance plane. Clearance plane for CAD model. Let's do inch and a half for our clearance plane. Hit OK, and then hit No when it says to update the clearance plane. And we are good to uh, generate this now. So let's take a look at our settings. So we'll go to Planner, Measurement Plan Simulation. I'll leave that up here for now. If we go to Run, and clear the results, the third option down in the selection, and we'll hit start. We'll see our star probe. Now we could have an issue with clearance planes here. We need to make sure that the clearance planes, uh, I'm gonna end up doing Z positive. I think it's gonna be safer for this work piece um, every time it transitions to go up in the Z. We could do a Y positive, uh, but that becomes an issue when we change stylus to go to the number two stylus orientation. And again, I like taking probing points if possible because it's just faster. So that looks good. Uh, let's go into our editor here. And I like to go to uh, Stylus System Stylus. And notice we are all set. They are Z positive. This particular window I do like when comparing what stylus orientation to what clearance plane. So uh, that looks good. I'm going to save now. And this part is aligned. Uh, so I'll uh, stop this video here. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, uh, when it comes to the style system, make sure, uh, at least in simulation, that you have this information entered and that you load the style system, um, import the SSC file provided. It is a standard HVCC probe uh, or a star probe. All right. So, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email. Thanks for watching.